the 4th of July everybody. Today I came up with the idea of designing a Tinkercad flag. Let's see how quickly we can work through this cool little project. Let's start by making the red bar. Just drag a block out and then I chose to make each stripe 5 millimeters and then I chose 91 because it takes 65 millimeters to make 13 stripes and then if I added the distance I wanted for the rectangle size that mattered, 91 was perfect. The beautiful part about Tinkercad is if you click on your perfect stripe, you can do Control D. And then if you just do up five clicks, it moves to the very next spot. I'm going to do top view so I can make sure that I didn't accidentally do six. And I'm going to fit to size. And there is a gap between those, so I'm going to go back one. Now, if I do control D and do five more for the next one, three, four, five, and then the next time I do control D, I can just keep going up. So that's four stripes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now I've got the 13 stripes for my awesome flag. We need to make every other stripe white so we can simply click that, switch to our white color, and do that all the way up. I'm going to speed it up by clicking every other while holding the shift button. And that way I can turn those white in one click. The first six stripes, one, two, three, four, five, six, are all uh, the full length of the flag. The next ones are shorter. I'm going to take this length. I'm going to have to scroll out so I can see it. And instead of the full 91, I want to change it to 46. And press Enter. In a stroke of luck, they move exactly to that side, which is perfect. Now we can bring out another cube and make that cute little fella 35 by 45 so that he's ready to add stars. The star tool is one of the basic shapes, so you can simply bring it out. Before you do so though, hit work plane and click on top of the blue area of your flag so that you can drop whichever star you want to use. I'm going to use this star, and then these are the measurements I used to get mine to where I wanted it. I still kept five points, I had a radius of two, and an inner radius of 0.5. I'm going to delete this one, click back on my first one, and then I'm going to do that same trick where we zoom in on it, switch to the top view. I'm going to scroll back a couple clicks. I'm going to make sure I'm as close to the edge as I can be. And then I'm going to do control D and I'm going to click over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Without touching anything else, I'm going to scroll back. And let's see if we can make all the way across six by doing control D again and again and again and having them fit. I'm going to hide that window to see if my last one fits the way it's supposed to. Control D. Yes, it does. So now I'm just going to grab that entire row. And here's a cool trick. If you grab all of them, notice it says seven shapes. Hold down shift to get rid of the big blue shape. Do control D. This time I'm going to move down till they're in the gap, and I'm going to go left until they're in the middle of my other stars. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to click somewhere else, click on the one that's an oddball, hit delete. And now I'm going to select all of those again. Notice it says 12. I'm going to hold down shift to get rid of the blue. And now do control D, and I'm going to just move that down so it's exactly below the next row. To make 50 stars, we need five of these rows. So let's see if they'll fit. Control D, there's three, there's four, and there's five rows. We have just made a really nifty US flag. You can see they don't quite match. So I'm just gonna do Control Z to undo. And I'm going to go back to this last row. And I can just grab that row. I'm going to hold down shift. 
I'm going to nudge those up because they need to be tighter. And let's see if it works when I do it this way. Same trick. Hold down shift to get rid of the blue. Control D. Nudge them down. And let's see if they fit. Control D. Control D. Control D. I have got 6 times 5. Everything's beautiful. Scroll out. And there, my friends, is a nifty U.S. flag to celebrate the 4th of July. Hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Hope you learned a couple cool skills. I'm going to press W to get the work plane going. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for more cool lessons that will be created. If you get a chance, click that like button and, of course, subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know, make sure you click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great 4th.